Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Tainted Grail Seeds of Corruption. It is a card game. Single player RPG with, uh, I want to call it card combat, but, uh, you know, that's, that's essentially what it is. Card based combat. Wait, this game have an, I did not create a character last time. Is there a random button I can just spam the crap out of? Okay. We'll create a character. I'm pale as fuck, so allow me to select the pale, of, pale as fuck option. There we go, beautiful. Wait, why am I a goral? I don't want to be a goral. Yo. <laughs> this man's chest has a V of fucking note. Anyway, uh, yes, let's be a viking. It seems like you can only be viking. Oh, yo, you can be a roman. Anyway, viking, give me the biggest, baddest beard on earth. Yo, this one looks better. And then my hair is... Like, I don't know. Let's go more red. I like going more red than usual. There we go. More red. Uh, tattoos. Yo, that's metal as fuck. Yo, these are cool, man. Holy shit. I swear. Because I did, like, go in... I, I played it for four minutes on, on Steam. Because I just wanted to check if everything worked. When it came out. And then I didn't record an episode because I'm a noob. Can you have both? You cannot have both. Oh, fucking give me this sh No, this thing. This looks badass. It's like Odin's... What What is the fuck's happening with my ponytail? It looks like a horse that's trying to, like, shoo a fly, fly away with his tail. Shoo fly. Anyway. It's like Odin themed. I like it. Do you want to start with it? Yes. Give me all the tutorial. Promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth, and treacherous mists. Those few who managed to land will be set by hunger, cold, and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough. For a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger, and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness. As reality melted around us. It's gonna fucking, <coughs> pardon me, acid trip or something? And uh, sorry if that was loud. I uh, it didn't look t like it looked loud. It didn't look too loud. You know, it wasn't like eardrum shattering loud. Anyway, so the point of this video is to have a look at the game. The but I saw I so when I did this, I literally just spammed on all the options in the dialogue and skipped all of this. Oh, you can't ships. see anything. Your captain, though seasoned, failed to remember that in the weirdness, sharp rocks move just as easily as sea waves. However, as you peer upon the wrecks, you see the wreckage of the fleet's flagship lodged between two rocks far off the coast. The flagship. Now this doesn't make sense. You never even got close to King Arthur's vessel. Okay, this is severely different from when I clicked. Because, like, you immediately started in, like, a tavern thing, and I just spammed all the dialogue so I could get to actual combat to see what it looks like and see if everything's capturing properly. And, yeah, this is this is not what happened. So, allow me to just reposition myself to over here somewhere. Can I shrink myself? I'd be like, this is me. Oh, no, there's an HP bar. Okay. We'll just leave ourselves sh slightly shrunk over here somewhere. So, yeah, the point of the series is to just have a look at the game and form some, I don't know, I call it a first impressions kind of thing. You can move your hero by pressing WASD on the keyboard or left clicking on the mouse. Blocked by a weird, small creature, half man, half goat by the looks of it. An oddly shaped mask makes its appearance even stranger. But it does nothing to conceal the creature's anger. 
Damn it. You weren't supposed to land here. Damn it all to hell. That's pretty good voice Noticing acting. your stare, it continues. It doesn't matter. You were shipwrecked on this island. This is a shipwreck. Close enough, right? I guess. I don't know. What, what's the now, point, listen, though? There's a lot to do and no time to waste. First, we must ensure you're in proper condition to actually do anything. What can we try? Uh, fighting. Oh, I know. Travel west. Find a creature there and test your metal against it. That should make for a proper test. So I'm pretty sure in the time that I, between buying the game, um, for testing purposes, here you can see your tracked quest <clears throat> and your current objectives. You can always read more information in your quest log. Uh, so what I wanted to say is clearly in the process of... Yeah, okay. That seems like it's maxed out. In the process of... Or well, between that and recording this episode, we've actually... There's new content. That's cool. This is what I liked. Okay, so the, the whole RPG mechanics were pretty cool. But when I saw this... And actually fought the first combat and it was quite challenging for four minutes as i've said in the past it seemed really cool combat is turn based and you can always start and you always start first here's your energy meter which tells you how many cards you can play when you run out of energy click in turn or press t and here's how much energy cards cost this is the enemy's intent for this turn one particular this particular one means that the enemy will attack three times for a certain amount of damage Okay, so we need to block three if we don't want to get hit. Can we block anything? N no. Reduce enemy's armor by 50 for the next five turns. That seems like something we should probably do. Here you can find the enemy's status icon. Since you've played a card that debuffs the enemy, reducing the armor in this case, you can see that something appeared here. And I just quickly want to do this. Um, because as good as the music is, it's, it's, it's a bit much right now. Probably do that as well. That we can probably leave out. Yeah, music's still, the music's still too loud. How about like that? That feels good. Okay, for example, if you see 30 here, it means that your attacks will deal 30% less damage. However, minus 30 means they'll deal increased damage. So it essentially means that the arm is minus. All right, this is deal three hits for six to nine. Deal one hit for 12 to 18, 12 to 18, three hits for six to nine. Isn't this essentially the same thing? Six, 12, 18. Okay, so this is a chance of much bigger, I've seen. Okay, so this is the part that I saw about this game where I was like, this is really freaking cool. It looks really freaking cool. Two by one. We can just beat the crap. Wait, does it stack? It stacks. It stacks, stacks. Holy shit. Okay. One hit for 20 to 30. Well, we'll just do these again. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> you can't see that. No. Wait, I want to get hit. Just watch the animation. Uh. <laughs> Beat the crap out of it. All right, so this is what I saw where I was like, this game kind of looks like it's my speed. It's, I enjoy turn-based games, but I get bored of them. But I enjoy card games. So when I saw there was an RPG with card game mechanics in it, looking like this and with a Viking-ish theme, I was like, hell yeah. This is your inventory. The space you have here is unlimited and you can always access it by pressing I. Quick slots. Here you have four quick slots. You want to move, access, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember to put your items? Yeah, yeah, cool. Wait, wait, you can't, wait, wait. Go, go there. Hell, wait, if I put it there, does it go away? No, you can have them both. Beautiful. Let's carry on. Now, I don't know how much uh, freedom you have with explore. Oh. Oh, my. I would, this would be the end because of where we are on the map. Is that, is that loot? Oh, that's loot, baby. I see something flashing in the distance. You know I'm going to run over there because it's fucking loot. You know I'm... Wait, it wants to talk to me? Don't talk to me. Just be dead. Litter the ground. Even more float in the stormy waters. Among the corpses, you notice someone dressed in expensive clothes. Probably a captain. 
who, if not a captain, would have a clue as to what exactly happened here? As predicted, in the man's pocket, you find a message from the king himself. It reveals that Arthur knew the dangers of landing here, yet he insisted to make the attempt. The document proves the conquest of Avalon is going worse than most of the people suspect, and that the king withholds vital information from his subjects. You're saying this is Arthur? Okay, well... As much as I appreciate the law, I would have appreciated a sword much more. Let's go to Goat Boy. So yeah, this is much more my speed. It, it combines my love for playing single-player card games with an RPG, which is Your just amazing. Your spirit is intact. It still has the will to dominate over beings weaker than you. That brings us to the more problematic part. Your body. You look at your legs and hands, and they seem perfectly fine. Oh no, that's just an illusion. I had to get you here somehow, didn't I? Imagine what you'd think about your condition if you appeared here out of nowhere and landed in pure darkness and not a memory. Well, not yours, but as we've established, a ship is a ship. You'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot, and this, my friend, is not an afterlife. This is a total mess. <laughs> now, go. We need to find you a proper vessel. Wait, this is this is not my body. This is not the body I'm looking for. Uh, yo, class selection. This looks like class selection. Class selection. Please tell me it's class selection. I feel like the, the graphics isn't great. To be completely honest with you. Okay, the children of Morgan are obsessed with freedom. They try to tear down. Every edifice of the old world order. Do, do I have a? Do I have a? Wait, what? It's the weird hunter. It's good shit. Weird hunters leave a deadly mark with every hit they inflict on the enemies. When an enemy is marked six times, it becomes vulnerable, and damage dealt to vulnerable targets are doubled. Uh, can I use arrow keys or WASD to switch to the different classes? Do I just click on them? Oh, can I only be the Weird Hunter? These classes will be unlocked over the, after the tutorial. But what if... Yeah, you know, make me the Weird Boy. Weird Hunters leave a deadly mark, yes. When the enemy is marked, yes. Weird Hunters have ultimate ability by landing hits on enemies. They can call upon the Beast of Weirdness to deal massive damage... Massive amounts of damage depending on the number of charges they spend. Progress summary, 2%. Shit. I don't know when this game is supposed to come out, and also I didn't know it existed until now. Well, it seems your soul isn't strong enough to be picky about its vessel yet. Don't worry, you'll grow. You don't recognize your voice or the language you speak, but you feel you're finally able to say something. Fuck you. The creature sighs. Listen, it's been four years since humans landed on these shores. Four years of strife, fear, and hunger. At least that's what you tell yourselves. And four years of war you were destined to lose because even the mightiest human wizards are no match for the Avalonians. Seeing your expression, it makes an impatient grimace, stepping from one foot to the other. I know your tribe was peaceful and so on, but humans are not. The war you brought here? Well... It wasn't exactly going in your favor, but then that wizard, Merlin, well, he had an idea. Your king, Arthur, he had another brilliant idea. Both stubborn mules, both playing with powers they didn't understand and were never meant to understand. The creature rolls its eyes. And so we're here, in this corrupted reality, strung together with the last strand of somebody's goodwill. Now, will you please see if your soul's adjusted properly with the body you possessed a moment ago? I'm possessing motherfuckers? Oh, we fighting? We fight it? We fight him, boys! Pack of enemies. Look like little vampire bat bros. What are you? Uh, are you okay, sir? I seem to be having a really bad trip. Um, this is the action queue. It shows the order of enemies' attacks. Nice. 
Here are your passive abilities. Each class has a starting one and you'll get more as you level up. Very nice to know. Weird Hunter's passive skill count hits. Yes, we've read that like four times now. Nice. What is this button? Battle log. Let's, let's just... No, let's hide it for now. Alright, uh, you're healing people. Doesn't say for how much. Twisted face spawn. Powerful healer dependent on his allies. Left alone, he will sacrifice self to deal damage. His healing is more powerful than the cards that are in a player's hand. The more... Okay. Okay. Something is not right with this man. Yeah, what's giving you that idea? The twitchy fucking hand over there. Anyway. Oh, his hand's like going on the beat. Anyway. Anyway. Let's beat the crap out of this guy. He seems like the biggest threat. Those are random. Good to know. Good to know. Ultimate ability. Deal one damage to enemy. The more charges, the more powerful the attack. Got it. Three in my grave, two in draw. Discard zero. Where's, where's like the rest of our deck? How do I? Probably not yet. Uh, you're at minus 100. So let's, let's just beat the crap out of you. How about that idea? Oh, uh, YOLO. We gambling, boys. We gambling. Cha-ching. Here's your ultimate ability. In Weird Warrior's case, every hit you make grants you a charge. The more powerful. Yes, we, we, we are well aware. Thank you. This has been said before. Uh, we have one energy left. Let's just do that Wombus Combus. And end. I accidentally double clicked end there. I'm so happy that I didn't break anything. This guy's having a fucking trip on this music, man. Honestly, don't blame him. It's, it's pretty decent. And then murder that thing. I know I said murder, but... Batching some, batching some habies. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm done. Batching some habies? Really, Polly? That's where your mind went? Are you hatching some babies? Uh, 2 by 3 by 4 and 7 by 9. I should have targeted that guy first. But, um, screw it. I want some, I want, I want gear, bro. I want gear. Oh, reduce the armor. Punch it. And I also want to see how the healing works. Does it take up any... Uh, yeah, let's just do it. It doesn't take up a turn or any energy or anything for that matter. That is that is brilliant. Uh, I want to finish him off in style. Nice. Okay, an experience. What I'm seeing so far, I am really enjoying. Oh my. It, it feels like it could be... <laughs> Let me say it again. For every single card game I play on the face of this planet. Could be Slay the Spire, but an actual RPG. Uh, you look like you're gonna kick my ass harder than... I'm not gonna finish that. That was going somewhere very vulgar. Assumption is, um... We're supposed to die? Because we will, in case that wasn't clear. I <laughs> got a free health potion back. Fuck yeah. Value on using the one earlier. Uh, I think we just need to reduce your armor as much as possible. And then just beat the actual ever-living shit out of you. Each point gives you 10%. Hang on, hang on. Interesting. Hover over the status to check what it does. Power surge. Enemy is preparing a special attack. Kill him now to stop it. The next hit received by this enemy will instantly kill it. Well, let's go for some. Val let's go for some. Shit. <laughs> let's go for some value then. Not exactly sure why. Why did you become naked? I have questions. 
uh, weaken this thing's armor, and then weaken its armor. I, 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 wait, you're dealing how much damage? What did you think was gonna happen? It had like a thousand HP. I don't know, was it 500? No, the little guy on the left had 500. He had a thousand five hundred HP. What did game think was gonna happen? You hear a familiar voice. It's Ghost Bro, isn't it? Ghost? Goat Bro. Finally. Now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. A different voice appears out of nowhere, and its owner is nowhere to be seen. Be gone. Yo, that's a nice voice. It is calm. Inhumanly calm. Can I invite you to the table? Oh, it's death. Is it death? Yes, death. I want to come to your table. Waiting for you by the table. A chessboard sits upon it. The game in progress. As you take the free chair, you realize the creature has no face. A white skull leers from the shadows of the hood. A human skeleton draped with robes. I admit, I'm not used to showing up in person whenever people die. That's too much hassle with adjusting my presence to your current imaginations and whatnot. But let's say that your case is special. Yes. And yes to that other question, too. You're technically dead, but there are certain things that prevent you from... Let's say, being properly gone. And I love the text was like, You are dead? Certain things? When weirdness took over your farmhold, we managed to save your soul. You don't exist in your physical realm anymore. But because of that, you can possess the bodies of heroes who weren't as lucky as you were. Lend their strength to help you during your quest. Interesting. My quest? <laughs> Death releases a sound like a sigh. Wait, he's, he's just a skeleton, so how would that sound? Just be like a hollow, like... You can't hear that because it counts as noise. Thanks, RTX. Consequences going beyond the intentions that sparked them. Death moves a piece across the board. One king commanded a great army in order to conquer an island. Mm -hmm. Death moves a piece of a different color. Another king pushed back with an army of his own. Mm -hmm. Death moves another piece. One wizard wanted to beat back powers he didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Death checks the piece it just moved with another figure. And the creatures of this island fought against them, using magic that wasn't meant to be used. Mm -hmm. You realize the pieces have reached a stalemate. And now we're stuck in this unfortunate predicament, because time, as you know it, is irreversibly corrupted. It is? I mean, it is. <laughs> and why is it always in all caps like, TIME GOT CORRUPTED? The past and the future are happening at the same time. Nani. All that you see is an echo of things that already happened or eventually will. Presented without inherent sense, without purpose, without any logic. Interesting. Oh no. You see four figures on the board changing shapes into forms of beasts and a moment later they dissolve into dust. You must slay the guardians and keep slaying them until you reach the source conjuring them out of the weirdness. Their deaths will make you stronger. Each time you slay the four guardians, you will dive deeper into corruption. This will lead you to your destination. Death conjures another piece on the board. 
It is me. I am the nether piece. You must ensure that the corruption doesn't spread further. Or, even better, is beaten back. You must discover its source and free the pieces of this world's history from its power. Now go. We don't have much time left. I'm interested. Like, I, I'm, like, re legit. If I think there's only three hours of campaign out, but, like, I'm in. Why is it? It seems... Yo, wait. Whoa. Oh, no. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. His thick, unfamiliar accent makes him hard to understand. He's Afrikaans. Why is it lagging? Oh, there go the frames. Yep. We, we, we frame you, boys. It's not my farm hold, is it? I'm from up north. The land of fog. But this mist, it was all wrong. Have you seen the others? They were right next to me. I... I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. What's the last thing you remember? A dream. At least I thought it was a dream. A creature like a goat told me I'd wake up in a strange place. And there I'd find someone in need of my help. The man looks at you for a moment. I guess that would be you, wouldn't it? There's something about you. Something I can't quite describe. What are you planning to do? I've already made some preparations. Settled in one of the tents here. Currently, I can't offer you much, though. This place is... different. But you? This path leads out of the village. I've seen an enormous creature out there. A golem of stone. The evil energy it emits is beyond anything I've ever felt. I'd say getting rid of that beast should be a good start. Right, we still framey. How about now? Oh, God damn it, why did I have to end up like this? Guys, I'm going to wrap this one up here. Sorry about the framiness at the end. Um, first thing I should probably just do this. Yeah, does that fix our problem? Now I can see myself moving again. Alright, I'll sort out whatever the hell that is, but over here you can see. Test three hours of the campaign mode. Switch to campaign. Uh, I don't know what happens if you click that. But this did seem like a campaign. I don't know what scenarios are. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure all that stuff out. That seems pretty cool. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy the content, hit the like button. If you do want to support me, check out the channel. And hit subscribe. If you enjoy what you see there. In any case, guys, thank you so much, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.